Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through a protocol called Osmosis. Now, if you didn't know what Osmosis is, it is an automated market maker, but it is unique because it is built as a blockchain. It is its own separate chain and it is something that connects it's an AMM that connects and has liquidity for all the various Cosmos ecosystem chains. So um, it's very cool and, and gives you a lot of opportunity to trade between all the Cosmos ecosystem assets and um, earn supply liquidity to earn a lot of rewards. So today I'm going to take you through uh, the fundamentals of it uh, being how to use it. So depositing assets to it, trading, liquidity pools, how those things work. So let's dive in and take a look. So we'll click enter the lab if you've got into this page and you can see it's gone straight in. I've, I've zoomed in my screen so it looks uh, it should be viewable. But let's take a look at a bit of navigation around Osmosis. So you are in the AMM. The first screen naturally is defaulted to trading between assets. Um, what you need to do, as always, when using any of these is you connect your wallet. Now, I am not showing you how to set up your wallet because I have done a separate tutorial where I show you how to set up your first Cosmos ecosystem wallet, Kepler, and um, I show you various things, how you can add different uh, Cosmos ecosystem chains to it um, through Osmosis and just general how to navigate in the wallet. So if you're not sure, start with that first. Um, and once you're done, you, this will make sense. So click on Kepler wallet and you can see as soon as I've connected, I've got a bit of Osmo in there. Um, and I have used this trialing and testing the site. So there's a few liquidity pools, but I'll show you from scratch how you do things. So the first thing I want to clear up is, so as I mentioned before, it is a a blockchain right so as you know with any chain if you're trying to do a transaction or anything like that it will use the native asset for fees so in the case of osmosis you're thinking well where do i buy osmosis you can't buy it on a central exchange because they want you to come here and buy it uh, what you do buy on a central exchange is atom so you can buy that come and connect to osmosis deposit that onto your osmosis wallet which is connected to the dap and then trade uh, swap assets. Now, what Osmosis does is, is even if you don't have Osmosis, the actual fee is taken from the trade. So you don't have to worry that you don't have the token in your wallet to pay for fees. So I know for me, when I was starting off, that was a big thing I kept thinking, um, and I got the answer to that for any new users who are watching this video. Let, let's take a look. The first thing you wanna do is swap between assets. Now, uh, I, I will recommend if it's your first time user, you go to assets, okay? Now, because I have played with this a bit, in, in my case, it has one um, atom in there for me to trade. But when you start off, it probably won't have any assets in there. So what you need to do is, if you have atom in your Kepler wallet, like I do over here, right? So I have a little bit staked and I have a little bit of atom here. But as soon as I'm connected to osmosis it's telling me i only have one atom why well i have one atom in my osmosis address so you have to come to the assets page if you have ust luna or any secret or any other um, cosmosis assets chains assets uh, you have to come to the asset screen and you've got to deposit it into the into your osmosis wallet so uh, the asset screen just enables that to and makes it really simple so in this case i want to deposit some atom i've got one here but i can click on deposit and you can see straight away it's showing my cosmos address and it's saying i've got six there so i'll, I'll deposit five and it will send it to my um, osmosis address and it will approve for the fees there we go cool so i've got six in there now now I can come here and I could say um, swap uh, three Y because I feel like buying some Osmo sys anyway. So swap, great. And there you have it. 
So if you wanted to swap between assets, that's how you do it. You deposit the asset that you want to swap into um, assets, and then you can come back to the trade and swap. Now I could have swapped Atom to anything that's listed here, to UST if I wanted to have some UST, to Luna, to, I know I keep referencing the two, but I come from that ecosystem, so secret, you name it. You can pick anything that's here and swap between the assets. So we've covered that. Uh, if you also, just to close this out, if you come back to, uh, the assets you can see it shows you what you have here now uh, a couple of things to to remember if for example you have swapped to uh, osmosis to atom and then you want to stake your atom and this is not in a liquidity pool not added to liquidity pool clear uh, strictly stake it juno for that example when you've done that you will then have to come back to the assets page and withdraw your uh, asset juno Luna, um, in this case, Atom, withdraw it, and then you can go to your uh, Kepler hub and pick the uh, the token uh, in the Cosmos and click stake uh, Atom, stake the Atom token, and then stake it. So just make sure um, you remember that, because I know my first go, I did the trade and then went to stake it. I was like, oh my God, where's my Atom? Uh, hopefully this saves you that shock. Um, okay, great. So we have that done. Now let's talk about pools. So Osmosis is an AMM after oil. So everything you're trading against is other users who've come together and put their portion of those tokens in a pool. Why have they done that? Because, well, they're chasing some of this sweet APR in the case of Atom and Osmosis, the native tokens, you can pull them together. And when they're in the pool, they will earn you 73% APR. That's good yield, especially on assets that if you would stake, you'd get 12% um, for Atom or 14% for Atom. And well, Osmosis is quite high, up to 75, so um, which we'll cover as well. So let's let, let every different pool has different incentives, APRs. So just keep an eye on that. What I will show you today is we'll just spend some time on the Atom Osmosis pool because they have introduced a new uh, a new component to this pool where um, so in the example I gave earlier you have the option of staking and earning or adding liquidity to a pool and earning APR as part of that pool. Now when in that pool your assets aren't staked they're not securing the chain I guess the job that it's meant to be doing when they're staked. Now uh, as a first off the Pool one, Atom and Osmosis, when you do add liquidity, you get the 73% and the Osmosis side of your liquidity is also staked, So, um, which is cool. And there's a small bonus on top for doing that. And we'll cover as we add it to the pools. So I, I hope that overview has helped explain what the pools are. It's no different to any other AMM and that's very important to understand. So. Let's head on over to the pool. Now I have added a little bit of liquidity here, but if, if I were to give you an example of what it looks like, uh, let's go to pool two. And you can see the only thing that is different is it doesn't have any figures up here. It's like you're starting for scratch from scratch. So let's go back to pools and go back to pool one. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen. What are we looking at over here? So uh, we can see that the current pool as a whole, not you, is valued at this much. You can see me, I've got $86 in here as I was trialing and testing things out. Now, the next part is, this is the super fluid staking uh, I was telling you about. This is strictly only for the Osmosis and Atom pair and the, it is only for the Osmo side. So the Osmosis token is what gets staked. And um, yeah, the next, uh, when you add to the pool, you then have to bond and based on your bonding is what kind of rate you will get. And all this means is when the time comes for you, if you want to withdraw your liquidity from it, you would have to wait this period of time before you got your liquidity back. So uh, you can pick a day, seven days, 14 days, uh, as it's got it highlighted, meaning I've picked 14 days, but each user to themselves. Now, uh, the superfluid validator, it's, you know, it's you, 
it's the nodes uh, that you pick, which ones you pick. There's a big list in there. Not all the nodes that you would traditionally find from staking Osmosis is available, but there's a fair few in there. I've picked these guys because they're friends. Uh, then the other part is, now we'll get to a bit of this in a moment. So you've come in as a new user, you want to add liquidity. You've already done your swap, but if you hadn't, you can actually quickly click on swap tokens and swap. Now, why do you want to swap? Well, when you're adding liquidity, you have two options with Osmosis and generally um, with most AMMs. With Osmosis, you can have both halves. And when you're adding liquidity, you have to have equal halves off each side. So you can go in uh, and so let's look at it, add or remove liquidity. As you can see, it's got 50-50. So if I went max, it would put that and the equaling amount on the other side, which is 9.11. Now, Osmosis does give you another option. If you didn't have both the tokens, you could tick single side um, asset LP. Now, to be very clear, again, I've made a few assumptions. You understand basic concepts of the LP and one of the most fundamental concepts of LP is equal sides. The single asset is not something different here. All it's doing is, in this case, I could, for example, swap to Osmosis and go max. And as part of adding this liquidity, it would move half of the osmosis into Atom uh, to that token and then add it into the liquidity pool. So it would basically do the swap and add it to the pairs um, on equal side of the pairs. So just make sure you realize this. It's not, you know, for example, again, I'll go to the Luna UST pair. It's got an LP APR of um, 40%. You may have a ton of stable coins sitting there and thinking, well, instead of anchors, 20%, I'll go into the 40%. But what it is doing is it'll take your stash and swap half of it for Luna. And then you are, uh, you know, you fall into the bracket off. Well, if Luna moons or Luna goes down, uh, especially if it goes down, uh, you're, if you went in with 20 grand, well, if Luna drops in value, you're losing a percentage in the pool. And that's what's called impermanent loss. So just ensure you understand that it's not just putting away your asset and you have that asset. I spent enough time there. Let's continue on. So I'm going to untick this and I'm going to add uh, this. We'll do max and we'll add the liquidity. As with everything, anytime you go to do something, it it uses gas. Great. So I have added liquidity. Now let's look down here. You can see that now, as soon as I've added, I have now, before it had $4, now I have LP tokens of 200. So make sure that this is very important. Adding a step one after this, you still need to uh, stake the LP, which I'm about to show you to earn the rewards. Otherwise you don't earn the additional rewards, this additional APR that we see here. So it's got a lovely button here that says start earning. So let's click there. And this is where now I could pick seven days a day, but you know what? I want to do 14 days. I want max APR. And this is the LP token, which is a uh, defaults to GAM. That's its nickname. But uh, this is a representation of what you put in the pool. This is what you get back. So you always have a claim to what you put into the pool. Now let's click bond, approve the transaction. Excellent. You can see now I don't have any available LP. If you go down here, I scrolled here a moment ago earlier when I was showing you would have seen this actually said, I think 57 or something like that. You can see this is all of a sudden updated with my new amount. Now, had I gone into the LP uh, this time and put in 57 days, I reckon I would have gotten, um, uh, it would have showed up in diff different sections. But that's, that is now done. I've added an LP. You can see my total liquidity has gone up and I have staked it. So I'm getting the 72% APR. And it even tells me over here that uh, there is a timeline around when I'll get my next APR and uh, rewards. And finally, you can see that I've enabled superfluid uh, staking. And you can see over here, I'm now getting on my Osmo side, 
I'm getting 90% APR, so uh, which is pretty cool. Now, ah, this is at the bottom. So this is this is showing me. Remember, it, I said it's on equal sides. This is now showing me how much atom I have in the pool and how much uh, osmo I have on that side. Now, again, these amounts will change constantly, but if atom moons or depreciates and vice versa. So keep that in mind. The, these are uh, volatile assets after all. So, uh, but uh, it should, if you go, depending on what happens, like if you're staying in the LP and you're smart about it, uh, you'll come away with a fair bit of profits, especially with 70% APR. Now, the next thing is staking. So you can see if I go into staking, it will pull up straight away the Kepler wallet. And I've covered that in that other tutorial, so I won't touch on it now. And if you really wanted to dive deep into stats, you could kind of come to the stats page and look through pools, tokens, and it gives you all kinds of details, which is great. But overall, I've showed you the fundamentals of how you can use the protocol. So ah, uh, you now know how to trade, you know how to add liquidity, you understand the difference between single-sided and doing it um, having both sides of the pair you understand il the implications of when you go into the pools and finally uh, if you wanted to just get out of the pool if you were wondering as i covered just and i mentioned earlier all you would do is unbond and when you click it it'll approve it it'll go through the cycle i didn't approve it and then you'll be able to remove your liquidity so you need to unbond before you can remove your liquidity so I hope that has helped uh, use get you started with osmosis. It is a great way to dabble, especially if you want to acquire some of the new things that are coming up in the Cosmos universe. Uh, osmosis is your go-to. You can move your UST, if that's how you've started your exposure, you can move it into your Kepler address or restore your Terra wallet in the Kepler wallet. Uh, FYI, I made a mistake in the last video that I said you couldn't do that. You can do that. So you can restore it and then use your UST to buy Atom, Osmo, or, and keep building up your portfolio that way. Now, as always, not financial advice. I'm strictly trying to show you how you can use these protocols and feel confident at the end of it that you're not making any mistakes. This stuff is click and play. Just make sure if you have a lot of funds in your wallet, you are putting the right numbers you want to move and swap. Um, your assets between. That's all. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.